Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Cheers to you. Just finished my workout. Uh, 5.31. Actually, today might be, uh, this is probably going to be the last day I'm going to show you this for a bit because I'm going to be setting up. Whoa. The uh, Armor 39 from Under Armour, which is chest strap. Here's your chest strap and then the watch. So it's, uh, let me just read you the back. Armor 39 is a digital performance monitoring system that empowers you to discover your athletic potential. Um, on body technology records your performance from heart rate to calories, intensity, and willpower, and syncs to web and mobile apps, allowing you to measure and analyze what matters most. Uh, so, from what I see, or from what I, you know, when I looked at first glance, it's supposed to be like a step up from a heart rate monitor. In other words, it goes beyond measuring. It measures you kind. Of, if, if it's if I'm saying what it does correctly, then it's really cool because what is the thing? I don't want to say I've been preaching to you, but the thing that has helped me in continuing to stay motivated and continuing to stop focusing. Does that make any sense? It helps me in my fitness journey now that I am focusing more on, uh, you know, each workout making it better, lifting heavier at the gym, going deeper into my poses in yoga, or holding a certain pose for longer, or finally um, attacking and being able to do, is it half moon? Um, for longer than like two seconds without Corey standing behind me holding me up or a wall. Um, running longer, running a little bit faster, you know, maybe it's, it's you're doing run walk and finally you're just doing a straight run. You know, comparing each day and each workout to the last time you did versus what I've been guilty of in the past and what many of you guys have been guilty of in the past, which is, you know, just getting on the scale and then you're freaking out going, what am I doing wrong? The scale's not moving. Or you maybe you're you're putting on your pair of jeans like I did back in January after like a week and I'm like, why aren't these more loose? You know? There's a thing that's going around on Pinterest, you know, all these great motivational sayings, but it's like, it didn't take you two days to put on the weight you're likely trying to lose, right? It's not gonna take come off in two days. And and sometimes we so often forget that. We're in this society where we want everything instantaneously, and believe me. If there's anybody that is more guilty of that than me, I don't know about that. Um, but anyway, what I like about this is supposedly it measures you, your intensity of what you're giving it versus what you did yesterday, where most heart rate monitors are strictly monitoring, which is still awesome. Don't get me wrong. That's not to say that there's anything wrong with our buddy Polar, um, which I love. But, you know, this is specifically measuring what you're doing today and that's it. From what I understand, and hopefully I'm not misspeaking, um, this is gonna measure you based on what you did before, you know, if you're really kind of taking things up a notch each time, which is again what we should be focusing on. Why do I feel like? It looks weird, it looks crooked, it looks like it's... Anyway, this is a strange, this is like an older Reebok top that has like this straight thing here that I'm not quite used to and it's offsetting. And anyway, for those of you that have uh, written on some of my videos lately and whatever that are perfect and don't have these issues, sorry that you have to listen. Some of us actually are not perfect and didn't just wake up born happy with ourselves running a marathon every day. So cheers to you and your perfection. Anyway, I'm, uh, that was a little saucy, wasn't it? I need to straighten up. But Aunt Flo arrived last night, actually this morning, after last night, I literally slept, I did not fall asleep until five in the morning very, there's probably the amount of swear words that came out of my mouth, like a very naughty girl, um, all last night until five in the morning. I mean, the amount of Advil PM I kept taking, that was, at one point, I'm like, I could take the whole bottle and it wouldn't even make us, I, my mind was just in overdrive and I certainly have a feeling that this was a combination of kind of several things that can kind of get on your mind and then you, in a bad way, I'm saying this is in a bad way. You focus on things that bother you too much versus what I usually do, which is being able to just let it go and, and release and move on, right? Sometimes you can focus on it or let something get you really upset. And I know that I was talking to my mom about something um, yesterday and then there was a work-related thing and then I, what else was it? Something else happened. Oh, 
I think one of my uh, travel situations got turned around really at the last minute. I just got really pissed off. and I was letting things bother me way too much. Probably because I didn't even realize that Odd Flo was knocking at the door. <laughs> because that's probably why I was in such a, you know, bad mood and then I couldn't sleep. Um, and when I can't sleep, that's just going to exacerbate everything because then I'm going to get even more pissed. Um, so yeah, I was literally up until probably, I think I maybe, the last time I remember looking at the clock was like 5, 5.30. Finally fell asleep. Um, and then I had to uh, kind of come back and go to bed, which really puts my whole day, I mean, it's almost one o'clock right now. That's not happy. Actually, it's closer, it's getting on three. Um, so anyway, <sighs> stuff happens, doesn't it? I almost swore, but I decided not to. So um, anyway, kind of like an annoying day, but I'm over it and, and I'm learning a lesson. Guys, every single time something bad happens or you have like a really crappy day, learn a lesson from it. Learn the lessons from stuff that happens in your life. I have to look back at myself and go, okay, look what you did. You know, you let yourself get, you told yourself you were going to give yourself a day off. You let yourself get all tangled up in work situations. You got upset. You festered over it all day when you said that you wouldn't, you know. You weren't applying the principles that you have been that have helped you. And, you know, you got yourself in a badass mood and, 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 and that's the kind of stuff I don't know about you guys, but sleep evades me when my mind is like and that's literally what my mind, it's just running so fast and it's its a huge issue for me to be able to like calm down. So I'm really going to make sure after I do yoga tonight that I put in that uh, meditation DVD. i really got to start doing this because I let work, and you guys, sometimes work does not have to be a bad thing. If you're, if you're letting work infiltrate your brain, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It can be that you hate your job and you want to get out of it, right? Like I did for a couple of years. And every Sunday was like, oh, tomorrow's Monday. For me, it's more like I'm just constantly thinking of, of what we could be doing or things that I have to do. And it's especially hard for me on weekends or a holiday weekend like this when I'm trying to give myself, Corey, I know, when I'm focused on giving myself time off. I think in the back of my head, there's this, oh, look at all this time, you're not getting all of this stuff done. And so then I automatically start to obsess and think about work again. Um, so you have to be able to like turn it off and walk away and have no feelings about it, you know? Um, so work can bother you in a good way, it can bother you in a bad way. But either way, <laughs> you, me, we've got to find a way to like turn it off because sleep, is a number one priority. Do we all know that? Yes. So that said, is this a great soundtrack? It's not really a soundtrack, it's a... Uh... It's a... Uh... <sighs> What's, I can't even think of it. It's a mix um, that I bought, um, and I don't even know how I found it on iTunes, but it's a really good mix for when you're running on the treadmill, or if you're running outside, obviously. It's just got awesome, Sounds really dorky if I say. It's got awesome beats. Anyway, hey, I think I'm gonna be able to keep this under 10 minutes, probably because I'm tired. Um, I'm tired, I haven't had coffee yet. It's freaking 1.30, but see? I told you guys I didn't get any sleep last night, went back to bed, slept in until 12, because um, I had my um, niece over for a sleepover last night. So I had to take her back home, um, and then I came back and went to bed so I could get like another four hours of sleep. So caught up on my sleep, but you know, I got up and my mind was already immediately going to like that negative place of, oh great, hot flow's here, I feel like crap, I didn't sleep all night, I should really take it easy. You guys, I'm just gonna keep saying this to you because you, some of you think that like, people that are seeing good results or you know, somebody like Kathy Friedrich or, or whoever it is, all of the really fit athletes that you see, you think that they've gotten to a place where they're impervious to any temptation. Nothing can touch them, you know, they're just, they've got their mindset going and it's just easy for them. No, it's not. I've been around enough with them and I'm telling you as far as I'm concerned, I have been kicking butt overall and I've had a lot of crap thrown my way, especially the last three months, right? Um, the thing is you make the choice to keep going and it is a choice, period. It's a choice to be in a good mood, like I said in my last video, it's a choice to be happy, it's a choice to say, okay, you know what? Like I did today, I'm tired, I'm getting a late start, I really don't want to be, you know, eating my first meal of the day at two o'clock, but I'm gonna get my cardio done. Why? Because this 
doing, having that dedication and doing it when I didn't feel like doing it is what got me, you know, through that first two months, through the first three, you know, the next two months after that and where I am now. And now, you know, I'm looking at maybe my last 10 pounds that I want to hit before I really start to feel like, hey, I'm kind of at my goal weight. Now we can just really amp up uh, muscle conditioning and whatnot. So you've got to realize that it's a choice. If you don't get to a place where everything's just easy, it's always going to be a choice. You always have to do whatever you can so that you can enable yourself to make those decisions, period. You know, I mean, there's there's all kinds of things I do to keep myself motivated. Spend a lot of time on Pinterest <laughs> because Pinterest has sometimes these sayings or whatever, and I'll put them in a board, and then if I'm having a bad day, you know, I'll look at my funny board. Or if I'm having like a really frustrated day and I'm dealing with situations, I'll go look at my, you know, inspiration or my Zen board, and then I'm like, okay, that's where I need to be. You, everybody needs a reminder. You don't like get to a point where you, you can't learn anymore. You don't get to a point where you can't improve anymore, physically, spiritually, um, in any way. My God, we should all be a work in progress forever, but just understand, that even when you get your mojo, a lot of you guys are writing me like that. You're like, how did you get, you know, how'd you get back in, into this after you'd been frustrated for a couple of years or whatever? I'm still getting myself back into it. I still get to the point where I get a little cocky and I'm like, yeah, you know, I can just take today off. No, you've got to convince yourself. And you do that by, again, reading, teaching yourself, educating yourself, and surrounding yourself with people that are going to build you up and encourage you. And when you want to get down or you don't feel like working out, people are going to check in with you and go, did you like do your workout this morning, soccer, or what? So that's me for you. <laughs> and I will continue to share my silly little tips that help me. And if it helps you, and uh, by the way, I'm not calling it wisdom. Um, if it helps you, then that's awesome. That makes my day because um, there certainly are a ton of you guys that have inspired me, and that's what helped me. Um, so anyway, you guys have a good rest of the weekend. I'm off to go eat because I'm starving, and I will talk to you tomorrow, okay?